there it is the wire nut wrong wire nut was put on here years ago back in 85 and it finally let loose wasn't properly engaged and then I spent probably an hour screwing around trying to figure out what was wrong with it and that's what this tails about twinned carrier heater with a twinning board didn't work it was working and all of a sudden just stopped no heat and it doesn't even work on fan over here go over here to the AC unit put this on on it doesn't work either this unit's got a twinning unit it's got a control board here control board here what they call a twinning unit and I've got no heat okay I measured on either one of the outputs in the 220 volt breaker to this uh, dual unit and it's got uh, 110 volts to ground and that shows the breakers working okay on the right control board I've got 28 volts here on the uh, output of the uh, control transformer here that's the control board that's the right furnace there's the left furnace now we're going to check this control board okay on the left control board there's the control transformer got no voltage across it on the output of the transformer now I'm going to go off and check the input to the transformer see if we've got any input on any power 110 volts on that one okay I've got this jumpers hooked to the input of the control transformer and I got no voltage here so the problem's a little bit deeper and this is fed over here and uh, I just took the cover off we're going to see what's going on because I've got uh, 110 on either side and it might be just a bad wire nut or something in here okay now I've got 110 volts here at the input just by moving this wire nut around so that blue wires actually off the uh, circuit breaker and then there's a bad the wire nut is I just need to return off the 220 and redo that nut so that's why I had no input here there the fan goes on so that was just a bad wire nut that's a two-stage heater So this is the control board and over here this wire nut just happened to be bad so it didn't power the control transformer on the left side over here is the right side so the way this works is 220 volts one leg feeds the right furnace the second leg feeds the left furnace and then this is the twinning unit that ties the two units together The whole problem here is that this wire nut, uh, the connection here was bad. We've got this power turned off now, but this is one leg of the 220, and then you can see this is all black. And so, since this one leg was off, it wasn't powering the uh, control transformer for the left side of the furnace. And since these are twinned together, the two furnaces here everything was completely dead and what happened is that this unit completely turned off this has got a two sets of blowers on the right side and then there's two physical uh, blowers on the left so there's two different motors got a right furnace left furnace and this other one was dead because these are twinned together had no uh, nothing was going on it just basically stopped and so I've got to basically clean this up and put a wire nut on there, and that should be it. So, never had this happen before on this unit, but it was just kind of strange that this connection decided to go bad right on a cold day. But So here's my collection of wire nuts. And what's interesting here is the orange one says a max of two number 14s. And over here they had a number, uh, that's a number 
12 wire and this is about an 18 so that's probably didn't even really go into that very well so I'm going to use a proper wire nut and use a yellow one to get all this cleaned up and uh, put a bigger wire nut on there so it's actually engaged you can see the arcing on here um, and it's all black it was in a metal box here so it wouldn't really catch anything on fire it's just kind of a jackass situation jack leg so they're going to clean all that up and put their proper wire nut on there this is the blue wire it goes all the way back to the 220 and that's all of course that's off okay I put a wire tie here to kind of strain leave these two wires together I've got a cut back the wire which is in this stranded wire the plastic is really hard to cut back because it's it's so old and this looks like it's probably a number uh, 14 it's hard to tell this is a number 12 I've got these twisted together all sanded down I put a wire nut on there that's a proper wire nut that's actually going to pull those in there and this is the other one which didn't even really it barely engaged it so that was the problem I'm going to button all that back up and should be good to go that's closing the box back up now I'm going to turn the breaker on. See if we got a successful operation. Turn the furnace back on. Once we're all done, we'll cover up the breaker box. Okay, with works on manual fan. Turn it off. See if we can turn the heat on. Let's turn both on. Cool. There's the right burner. There's the left burner. Now I gotta button all this up. Got the covers off, which isn't the greatest. And the fan motors should turn on in another minute. Here we go, we got the blowers on. I gotta put the top sections on. We measure the carbon monoxide later on in this. It's twinned up. That's all due to this little connection in here. Got a hell of a suction there. Okay, in summary, here's the twinned thermostat. Take the cover off real quick. These are the two mercury vials. If I move this up, the call for heat. That turns on the first furnace, which is the right one. Command of the gas on with the big delta T. It kicks the left one on. Go over real quick. Got the left furnace on. I've got the right furnace on. I'm going to go back over here real quick and turn 
that down. Now it's only running on one furnace, which is the right furnace. Now the blowers are going to come on once it's uh, run for probably about 90 seconds and that's controlled generally by the control boards down in here. There's a timing capacitor on the carrier Bryant units. This is the older one. That's the twinning unit. To pop that back in a second. But there's the blowers going on. Commanding only running one burner. I go back real quick. Like a bigger delta T. Now I've got both sets of burners going. So in summary, what happens is this guy kicks on first, the right one, on a twinned unit. If there's a big delta T, it'll turn the left wing unit on. And that's controlled by this twinning unit down here, which ties the two units together. Each one's got its own control board, and they're twinned together, which is uh, the two-stage thermostat. And this will run until it's satisfied with the temperature it needs to be. It'll first shut this guy off on the left, and then it'll go shut the one on the right off. Okay, the twinning unit. That's the left furnace. That's the right furnace. It's also got an A-coil up there. Twinning unit is right here. It's this big, huge box that ties the two together and it's got connections here that tie the board from the left the right unit and the left unit hook up here's a twinning box that's a new old stock one I got as a spare it's got relay here, relay, relay here 24 volt transformer, another relay yet another relay and then it's got these inputs here that connect up to the two control boards and the thermostat. Here's an over temperature gizmo. And then there's yet another one over here. For the other side, another over temperature gizmo. And there's a huge mess of wire, so without the schematic kind of hard to figure what this is but this is a carrier uh, Bryant unit from about 1985 now we're completely off I go over here real quick got the unit buttoned up now on the left furnace here on this dual one what can happen sometimes is this relay will stick if it gets older and the fan will run all the time and that's on a twinned unit and if you pull this off and bump this really hard, you'll unstick the relay and it'll work. So I've got to really replace this board here. Uh, probably put one of the electronic ones on there, about anywhere between 40 to 80 bucks. But it used to kind of drive me nuts what was wrong with this thing. You'd run it, it would turn off, and then it would keep on running on low fan. And it's because this one relay was sticking. These bang on the side it'll turn off that's a carrier twinned unit each one's eighth of a million BTUs you got a quarter of a million input it's about a 78 percent efficiency a little bit less than 80 there's Mr. Alligator checking me out he's making sure that I put these zoysia plugs in correctly he, whoops there he goes he's probably about three feet long <laughs> 